you switch on the computer, computer of course, yeah. and uh, you launch this application, and you switch on the printer. So every time you turn on the printer, you need to make sure it's, it's in this uh, uh, message. You need to make sure that there is nothing there. Now the reason is that the print cartridge holder will go up, move to the right, then go down, and then it will move at a very close distance with respect to the plate and so then you press OK and you will see that. See? Yep. So if you have stuff in there, it's a problem. Okay, now we need to prepare the cartridge. So, so, okay. In this case, the particles are very small. They are like 60 nanometers. So we don't need to filter anything. In normal situations, you would need. If you have big aggregates, you need to filter. Uh, the solution. So this is the printhead and uh, the nozzles are here. These are the electric contacts that you use to control each single nozzles. So we have uh, 16 nozzles here. 16. Uh, 16, yeah. And this is the reservoir. So uh, they say that you can put uh, 1.5 uh, 1 milliliters, but you can actually put more, otherwise you run out of solution. Uh, so. But in the best case scenario, you should probably solicit this thing. This no. thing, is this a solicitor also? No, I yes, it's a steerer. It's a, it's a very slow one. Is it? Yeah. No. I tried to put my particles there for one hour and I see no change. You know, they're integrated in the bottom. They're still like that. Now, one thing that you should avoid is uh, to trap air inside this reservoir. It's coming out? Yeah. So. Now we need to mount this one, so what I do normally is I press it a bit, bring it down, and then back. that's it. Okay, every time you use a new, new cartridge with a new material, you should uh, uh, change the, replace the cleaning pad. Okay. So this is a cleaning pad. Okay. Can simply press here like this. Take it out, and you shouldn't touch it. But I mean, we have clean. Our gloves are clean. You shouldn't do that. Come here, replace cartridge. Open this. Now, there is only one way you can put the cartridge in the right way. So another thing you should do is to check if this channel is filled with the uh, liquid. Liquid. It has to be filled with liquid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's obvious. Like you have yeah. the contacts on the back, so they should just. Now there is this. Uh, this one as well, the vernier uh, scale that you should uh, adjust. Now we put this back to zero. I think the top. So 
This works like uh, a caliper, okay? Mm -hmm. So your reference is this uh, this thing. Zero? No, 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 this... Uh, oh, there's a mark, yeah. This Sorry. marker, yeah. yeah. So if I want to put it to zero angle, I need to make sure that all the other lines are aligned. Now, this one controls uh, the angle of the... The, 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 the nozzles. Yeah. With respect this axis. Okay, now let's load the substrate. Well, give me another solution and then we can do it. But this thing has vacuum, right? Yeah, yeah, but the vacuum is done uh, with all the soles. Yeah, so, so yeah. we cover everything else. How do you cover everything else? With anything else, like a paper maybe. It will move. Okay. Thickness of the substrate is 600 microns, yeah? Yeah. So then we select 600 microns plus uh, an extra gap, let's say 700. The pattern editor, you open it from here, you do new, and then you save as. Um, Let's say, give a name. Now, what's the drop spacing? We don't know yet. So we want to check how big are the drops. Therefore, we use a very large drop spacing so that they were well spaced and you can have a matrix. We can also put uh, 240 on it. So this is uh, the array that we're going to print. Open the drop watcher. You basically watch the drops ejection with the stroboscopic camera. What is a stroboscopic camera? A uh, camera that allows you to see the Motion? movement of this drop, so it's synchronized with the ejection. Okay. Stroboscopic. Okay, this doesn't work, so we run a cleaning cycle. Probably we didn't wait enough. Now, if you, from the cartridge settings, if you go to select a waveform, select. So we want to select this, okay. add it, so here you can control the waveform. Where do you need a waveform here? That excites the voltage applied to the uh, nozzles. So there is a piezoelectric element. So basically in this waveform you see that the first phase is the start. So the piezoelectric uh, element here, the voltage is zero. It's slightly deflected. Uh, in this in this sense in this way then there is phase one a negative voltage goes up mm -hmm. so they can let the fluid can flow inside the this little chamber and the phase two in which you create the drop the so positive voltage yeah. and then the phase three and four in which you eject it's called the calibrate nozzle view so you basically go to nozzle one or you right click and you put this uh, one in the nozzle one, like this, you do next, and it says go to nozzle 16. Okay. This is another reason why we set that angle to zero. Mm -hmm. If that angle is not zero, you will see this... Uh, offset, like off tilted. Yeah, it's tilted. Now we... Okay, and then now it's aligned, you see? Mm -hmm. So if I go back to one, it's yeah. in there. It's perfect. Now, if I remove move mode, movie mode and I select this to 100 then our target is to have all the drops that should be still but we don't see them all the drops should stay between 600 and 1000 that's the optimal speed now this doesn't happen why 
because probably there are residuals of nanoparticles here which means that we cannot print anything or if we print uh, there will be drops everywhere uh, now let's see if we can do something with the with this uh, waveform it's loaded the uh, Santronic uh, silver ink and uh, the nozzles are ejecting well okay so if you want to capture a movie you press this one and you say sun So then you can move here, all on. See, you see the drops are regular. Yeah, very regular. Very regular, and that's synchronized. That's because the ink is good. So this ink has been uh, optimized, and then we do stop moving mode, stop delay 100. Uh, now the, the 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 speed is already good. And actually, probably, we don't need to do anything here because the speed is already good. So we will try to align these uh, drops, mm -hmm. 16. So here we simply play with the speed. Uh, we go here, all on. So 16, then 15. So for example, we can work with uh, 15, 14, 13, uh, 12, and 11. So I stop here. You need to go to cartridge, first jet. It's uh, 11. They need to be always one close to each other. And the last jet is uh, 15. Clean circles. Uh, here we can say run every, so you run a clean circle every passes. Okay. Now we leave it like this for now. Save as central. Set the head angle to 17.9. Okay. Now if I go to edit, I want to see what we are printing. We are printing this grid. So now we want to measure what's the spacing between these drops. And then 79.8. That's a long way. Yes. Go to the fiducial camera. Okay. From which you can see the substrate. The substrate. very far away so we need to go up okay. here now we are on the sum sample substrate let's see we can adjust the focus a bit yeah you can see and you can see where we are more or less with from the light. the light that we have set the print origin in other situations you need to uh, set the print origin and also align the sample so that it's aligned to, to your features but here we don't really care because we are just testing the focus we should be able to see something. Yeah, yeah, now, the next step you need to do is... Uh, uh, How far do you want You to need to print... Uh, uh, a set drop offset. So you have to do this set drop off offset in order to, to improve the accuracy of your printing. Uh, so... Yes. Next. Select the location to print the drop here okay now the printer will uh, print a line plus a dot and then you need to click on the dot the, this is written in the manual it's done to improve the printing accuracy now we need to locate this drop we finished the drop uh, offset, finish. Now we can uh, go somewhere where we want to print our pattern. Now we've selected thickness, uh, where that was already selected before, 700, because the sample is uh, 600 thick. We're going to print uh, this pattern. 
choose a grid of points and print we can check what we printed uh, from the fiducial camera And these are our dots. So this can adjust the focus a bit. Oh, nice. And the dots are very clear. Now, what's the space in between the dots? Now we can use, uh, we can measure them. Now we can measure this one and take a picture of it. Okay, so it's 60. Now what we do is that we close this one. We go to print pattern. Uh, edit. Save as. We take this one and we do square. Okay, now we can select the drop spacing to 30, which is half the drop. So now the drops should be overlapped. Yeah. So mm. if I go to preview drops, I'm gonna print the same sides, but now the drops are overlapped. We save this the square is already saved. Yes, close this. 6.8 so we change the the angle go a bit up uh, set print origin here okay. again we do uh, set drop off set now we should see a continuous line we want the point to be printed here okay I didn't forget it. I mean, where did you define from where to where you print? Like you set the origin, okay? So this is like one point. But yeah, how far I, it I goes, show you now. I show you. Now, yeah. We can see that this is very regular, and uh, now one thing that you need to check is the edges. If the edges are regular, this is very well printed. Ah, we printed on top of the line. See. This is a very regular square. Now, what are these drops? I don't know. I think it's some rubbish that was on the sample. Now, we can take a picture of this and then we can measure the thickness. No, we measure the thick thickness on the profilometer. Oh, 